This is the chocolate room. This room is the nerve center of the whole factory. It's the heart of my whole operation. But uh, all I see is that little river over there. When are we going to eat? I'm hungry. Oh, just look at all the lights. Oh, there. There must be a lot of them. I thought there was a Um, Mr. Walker, I think something is wrong with your river. It's all brown and muddy looking. Nothing's wrong with it, my boy. Nothing. Nothing at all. It's all chocolate. Every drop of that river is hot, melted chocolate of the finest quality. The very finest quality. There's enough chocolate in that river to fill every bathtub in the entire country and all of the swimming pools as well. Isn't it terrific? I'd swim in that. And just look at my pipe. They suck up the chocolate and carry it away to every other room in the factory where it is needed. Thousands of gallons an hour, my dear children. Thousands and thousands of gallons. What's that? Over there. Why? It's a little man. Down there behind one of those pipes. My golly, she's right there for Joe. Can you see him? Can you see him? I see him, Charlie. There's two of them. Oh my gosh, so there is. Uh, there's more than two of them. There's a whole basketball team. What are they doing? A bat does they come from? Who are they? Aren't they fantastic? Five no higher than my knee. Look at their funny long hair. <laughs> they can't be real people. What nonsense. Of course they're real people. They are some of my workers. Impossible! There are no people in the world as small as that. No people in the world as small as that. Then let me tell you something. There are more than 3,000 of them in my factory. They are Oompa Loompas. Oompa Loompas? Imported direct from Loompa Land. And oh, what a terrible country it is. Nothing but thick jungles infested by the most dangerous beasts in the world. Horn swagglers and snozwangers and those terrible, wicked wang doodles. Wang doodles? Is that kind of like a thing on UFC? A wang doodle would eat 10 Oompa Loompas for breakfast and then come galloping back for a second helping. And do the same for chocolate! When I found them, they were living in tree houses. They had to live in tree houses to escape from the wang doodles and the horn swaggers and the snozwangers. When I found them, they were practically starving to death. They were living on green caterpillars, red beetles, eucalyptus leaves, and the bark of the bong bong tree. They loved cacao beans too, but only found about one or two a year. Uh, they used to dream about cacao beans all night and talk about them all day. It just so happens that the cacao bean is the thing from which all chocolate is made. I myself use billions of cacao beans every week in this factory. So I talked to the leader of the tribe in Oompa Loompish. <clears throat> Eat up or uh -huh. <laughs> Really? Which one? Oh. <laughs> And I told him that his people could have all the cacao beans they wanted if they would just come and work for me and live in my factory. Well, the leader was so happy, he leapt up into the air and threw his bowl of mashed caterpillars right out of his treehouse window. So, here they are. They're wonderful workers. They all speak English now. Yes, they have the green cards. They love dancing and music. They're always making up songs. I expect you'll hear a good deal of singing today from time to time. Daddy, I decided that I want a new Falupa. Get me one of those new Falupas. My chocolate must be untouched by human hands. Augustus, did you hear what the man said? I can only work in the at once. This stuff is terrific. Oh boy. I need a bucket to drink it properly. Augustus, you must come away. You are dirtying my chocolate. Oh, 
Virginia. Just fine. You wait and see. He'll be turning into marshmallows. Oh, impossible. Oh, my God. May I ask? Because that pipe doesn't lead anywhere near the marshmallow room. It leads to a room where I make a most delicious kind of strawberry flavored chocolate coated fudge. My poor Augustus. They'll be sending him out by the pond all over the country tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. How dare you laugh like that when my boys will set up the pipe? You monster! You think it's a joke? You think sucking my boy up into your butt room is one great big colossal shock? He'll be perfectly safe. He'll be chocolate fudge. Never. I wouldn't allow it. would be terrible. Just imagine it. A goose flavored chocolate coated glue. Uh, no one would buy it. Nor do I. And I do promise you, madam, that your darling boy is perfectly safe. If he's perfectly safe, then there is he. Take it on this instant. All right, one moment. Could you please show Mrs. Blue to the front room? Uh, when you get there, use this to poke inside the big chocolate mixing bowl. He should be there. Oh, but don't leave him in there too long, though, or he's liable to be poured up into the fudge boiler, and that really would be a disaster, wouldn't it? My fudge would become quite uneatable. What? Fudge! Fudge your I, I'm joking. Forgive me. Goodbye, Mrs. Blue. See you later. This way, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>